Sharma. Namaste. So, what brings you to India? So, I've come to to be with Umama, to be with Swamiji Shima. I spent a bit of time in Kashi before I, I got to see it in Iswara and focus on Japa. Um, yeah, I'm here in Kamakapita, I'm doing this trip to Navaratri and uh, to remember Divine Mother and Shiva and Anpati. So is this your first visit to Kamakya? It's the second time. I got to see I got to see uh, Ma and Swami do that for a couple of days last Navaratri before the Navaratri started because I, I then went to, to Umama's place and we had Deli Chandi Homa and uh, Navaratri was there. Uh, otherwise, Swami Ji said, please stay for Navaratri. He said last time as well, please bring Umama as well, we want to meet her. Uh, so this time we managed to come together. This is the second time in Kamakya. Thanks to my Swami Ji. Is Umama your Guru? She is my Sri Guru, yeah. And through, through Umama, then uh, from year, many years, we got to know about Sri Man Swami Ji's Chandipak. Um, so that was always the recommended translation because that translation has so much pure devotion and bhakti. And, uh, also, Umama's uh, Guru, our Parama Guru, is Amritananda Naka Devi Buddha. And Swamiji had met him a couple of times, and I believe Sri Ma had also blessed that blueprint of his Sri Chakra Temple. So, um, seems that, yeah, Divine Mother in these two different ways are actually they're very close and with a lot of love and respect for each other. So, I take a lot of uh, uh, inspiration and have been helped so much by Sri Ma Swamiji. Actually, some of uh, uh, Swamiji and Sri Ma's disciples have come to Devi Pura. And when I met them, I was so happy to have a uh, meet someone that was connected because otherwise we just had the book. And uh, for years we were following the book and we were watching some of Swami Ji's videos. And we were very inspired by that. It was 2019. Um, and so through those disciples of Sri Mahat Swami Ji, then uh, that's uh, Adetya and Rani actually, then somehow we managed to get connected to Swami Ji and uh, they came to London. And we spent some days with them in London. And it was yeah, such a wonderful time when I was able to go deeper into the sadhana that I'd already been doing with their, with their lesson, that kind of satsang in association with people who are truly in that, you know, absolutely that pure energy, that pure devotion. So, I'm so, so thankful to, yeah, <laughs> to be in their presence. How long have you been chatting with Chandi? Mm, so since I met Umama, since 2013. So that's 11 years. But I'm not at all an expert. I don't know. <laughs> Do you chant it every day? I have had times, periods where I've been chanting it daily. I've done a Shatta Chandi. Um, uh, but at the moment, my sadhana is more Japa. But there was a, there was a time where throughout the Purusha Ramans where I was doing the Chandi part a lot more often. Now at least it's monthly. And then the Vidya Chandi is also there. There's other sadhanas that I'm focusing on now. But the Chandi part was, yeah, for, for many years it was as much as possible daily when possible as well. And at least for now, that is all your day. Awesome. So what is your, what are you hoping to do this Navaratri, if you can share? If it is, if it's something you can share. Just, uh, It's personal, I won't throw. No, just, um, remember the Divine Mother, that's all. Yeah, In, there's so many ways of doing that. Uh, and whatever ways that my, my Guru Ma and, uh, and also being in, being in their satsang, just being in their presence is so blessed. And as much Japa as possible. And, uh, awesome. Thank so, you so much, Uncle. So beautiful meeting you. Lovely to meet you too. And, uh, Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.